How's it going, Vikes? Today we'll be trying some hot wings. And taking a look at the cheerleading showcase tonight. I'm Mike. And I'm Mason. And your news starts now. Snook will be open this Friday during all four lunches. If you want to experience a Broadway show and visit the city that witnessed the beginnings of the American Revolution, then come to the library November 29th at 7 p.m. The leadership class needs help with their research on teens and civic responsibility. If you haven't already done so, please take a moment to answer the questions found on your class's Schoology group page. If you lost a ring down the sink in the girls' bathroom, one has been rescued. Please identify at Mrs. Brady's desk to claim it. If you need some volunteer hours, sign up to help for Doorstep on December 10th. If you're interested, call the number on the screen to set up a time. If you want to sport your love for robotics, make sure to turn in a shirt form to Mr. Kuhn by November 30th. So, the choir is presenting a show tomorrow at 7. Admission is $5. Plus, it includes dessert, so I'm interested. I'll be right back with sports in a bit. Where'd you get all that food? I got it at Market Day. What's Market Day? Market Day is November 19th during seminar. Yum Toe will be selling cookies and brownies. The Harachak Company will be selling cookies and ice cream. The Four Leaf Foods will be selling fruit snacks and fruit punch. And Beans will be selling pizza and snow cones. Remember, Market Day is November 19th during seminar. Bring your money. Market Day! Fine Arts Booster Club is offering a $100 gift card to the winning banner design representing the Fine Arts of Seaman High. The entry deadline is December 21st. The banner design must be vertical. The dimensions are 33 by 80. The design must represent the Fine Arts at Seaman High. The cheer team is having a showcase tonight at 7. Ellie's going to tell us more about it. Wow, that looks awesome. On another note, it's the third day of basketball tryouts, so good luck to anyone trying to make the team. That's that cover it for sports. Let's head over to Josh Duncan with the weather. It was another cold morning, but as you go through the next couple of days, more mild and more sunshine is ahead so we're looking at that through Friday, but unfortunately, it's turning breezy and much colder again by the time we hit Saturday, and that could come along with a snow chance Saturday night. That's right, it would be the fourth snowfall of the season already in November. That's crazy, and here's a look at what the radar may look like Saturday night. It's not a big, heavy snow chance by any means, but some isolated snow showers and snow flurries are possible at this point, mainly Saturday night, but it could linger into Sunday as well. So we'll keep our eye on this forecast and fine tune it for you over in the days to come. And now for your SVTV 7 day forecast, you can see that again, that warmer weather Thursday and Friday, but unfortunately this weekend looking very cold and with that in mind, FBLA is trying to make America warm again. So keep that in mind. And currently, Mr. DeLeonardo's seminar is in the lead with 37 points. Make sure you're bringing in those items to donate over the next few weeks. Also, in the longer range, temperatures look to get warmer than average with above average precipitation as well. We'll see how this forecast could affect Thanksgiving coming up tomorrow on SVTV.
Now, back to your anchors. So, I first tried to find the best burger. After that, the best taco. And now, I'm going to try to find the hottest wings in Topeka. Are you ready for this, Ike? Oh yeah, Mason. Alright, let's head out. I thought I had accomplished everything on my bucket list. Then I realized there was a backside. Time for some wings. What's up, bikes? <laughs> it's not that funny. I'm Mason, here at B-Dubs. About to do the blazing wing, so here we go. <laughs> I really want to drink this. I'm gonna give this a four out of five on the hotness level. My legs are shaking. I'm almost crying. I'm here at Henry T's, about to try their habanero, which they say is their hottest. It's really hot to touch, so I'm gonna try to get it in and out really quickly. So far, I'm not feeling anything. No, I'm not feeling anything. These are garbage. These are so. I mean, the flavor is okay. So there you go, Henry Cheese. I'll give this a one out of five on the heat scale. I'm here at Trey Duffy's house, but we got these wings from Pizza Hut, and this video is also sponsored by Mountain View Voltage. So before we dive in, let me pour a little bit of this in here. There we go. Alright, these are the Atomic Bomb from Pizza Hut. So let's <laughs> dive into these real quick. <laughs> the flavor is actually good. You know, B-dubs, it kind of builds up to it. This is just, this is right there. It's like really hot at first, and it's kind of, it's wearing down. <laughs> uh, it's wearing down. You know, I'm not going for a second one. I'm going to give this a three out of five on the burn scale. It's not as bad as B-dubs blazing, but yeah, it has a kick to it for sure. Hey Vikes, hope you enjoyed that video. Feels good to be back to making videos about food. Um, my next episode, I'm thinking about going to the Furniture Mall of Kansas. Oh yeah. And uh, I think I might try to find the most comfiest recliner. So stay tuned to that. As always, Vikes, stay classy. Well, Vikes, I hope you liked that. As always, stay classy.